Let us solve question number two. I'll read the question. A pendulum weighs 500 Newton. Full stop. It is pulled aside by a horizontal pull of 200 Newton. Full stop. Calculate angle of rope to the vertical and tension in the string. So again, in this question, the diagram is not given. But with the help of some hints provided, we can draw the diagram. So let us start with question number two. A pendulum weighs 500 Newton. Weight of the pendulum is given. Next, it is pulled aside. Pulled aside means pulled to the side by a horizontal pull of 200 Newton. Full stop means if I can draw the diagram here. Here we have a pendulum which is attached with the help of string fixed to the ceiling. This pendulum is pulled by a force, I can say capital P and the weight value of capital P is given, capital P is equal to, it is 200 Newton provided in the problem. Next, here we have to calculate angle of rope to the vertical and tension in the string means at first initially this string is vertical and then when we are applying load p in the horizontal direction this string will go along with p and because of that there will be tension in this string so here i have tension in the string and here i can mark the weight of the pendulum in the downward direction so in this case, we have to calculate the angle made by the rope with the vertical. It means here we have to calculate what is this angle. I will denote it by theta. So we need to find this value of theta here. This is the first question in which something different is asked. That is here we are told to calculate the inclination of the rope with respect to vertical so i'll say that theta is my unknown and apart from that we have to also calculate the tension in the string these are my questions so i'll read the question once again a pendulum weighs 500 newton weight 500 newton is given it is pulled aside by a horizontal force of 200 newton it is pulled by horizontal force capital P is equal to 200 Newton. Full stop. Calculate angle of rope to the vertical. It means we have to calculate the angle made by the rope with the vertical and tension in the string. And we have to find the value of T. Now, this is this much is the question part. Now, before solving this question, first we have to get the values of each and every angles. So here I have theta angle, I will say angle made by the rope with the vertical. This theta would be same now if this angle is theta even this remaining angle will be theta and here I have 90. This angle is also 90. So if I have this complete angle as 90 and here also it is 90, this angle will be 90 plus theta, angle between T and P, it will be 90 plus theta. Then angle between W and P that is 90. So this becomes 180 plus theta, the total angle. Now I need to know this angle. So if total is 360, so it will be 360 minus 180 plus theta and hence my answer is 180 plus theta. So this remaining angle becomes 180 plus theta. 180 plus theta. I hope you all are getting this. See I will explain it to you again that if 
द एंगल मेड बाय टेंशन इन द रोप और द रोप विथ वर्टिकल इज थीटा सो यर आई कैन ड्रॉ अ वर्टिकल लाइन इवन दिस एंगल वुड बी थीटा नेक्स्ट द वर्टिकल एंड ऑरिजोंटल लाइन दे आर इंक्लाइंड एट नाइंटी डिग्री सो यर आई मार्थ नाइंटी इंक्लिनेशन ऑफ वेट विथ ऑरिजोंटल इज ऑल्सो नाइंटी यर आई हैव थीटा एंड दिस इज नाइंटी सो दैट बिकम्स नाइंटी प्लस थीटा एंड यर अगेन आई हैव नाइंटी सो आई हैव टू एड टू गेट द टोटल एंगल फ्रॉम टी अप टू डब्ल्यू सो दैट बिकम्स वन एटी प्लस थीटा नाउ इफ आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट द एंगल बिटवीन टी एंड डब्ल्यू आई विल बी राइटिंग इट एज 360 सिक्सटी माइनस वन एटी प्लस थीटा बिकॉज द टोटल एंगल इज थ्री सिक्सटी एंड आउट ऑफ दैट वी नो द एंगल बिटवीन टी टू डब्ल्यू सो यर आई हैव माई फाइनल आंसर एज वन एटी प्लस थीटा विच इज द एंगल बिटवीन टी एंड डब्ल्यू सो इफ ऑल द एंगल्स आर मार्क्ट नाउ आई कैन इजीली ड्रॉ द एफ बी डी दैट इज फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम आई से दैट ड्रॉइंग एफ बी डी For given figure, for F B D, here I have to mark W. Here there is P, and this is T. This angle is ninety plus theta. This is ninety. The remaining angle is one eighty. Plus theta. So here I have marked all the angles, and since we have three forces here, these three forces they are concurrent forces. I can easily apply Lamis theorem here. So I'll say that by Lamis theorem. I'll take W, W upon angle between T and P, which is ninety plus theta, is equal to. If I take P, angle between T and W, which is sine one eighty plus theta, then after this I have T. Upon angle between W and P, which is ninety, so sine ninety degree. Here I have the result of Lamis theorem. But if you see in this problem carefully, I'll first give it as equation number one. Here the value of theta has been asked. Means we have to calculate the angle here. So to calculate theta, here I will be using one trigonometric relation that since sine ninety plus theta. That is equal to cos theta, and sine one eighty plus theta. That is equal to sine theta. So I will be using that relation. So after this, I'll say that also W upon sine ninety plus theta. That is cos theta, and sine one eighty plus theta. That is equal to sine theta. Is equal to T upon Sine ninety degree. I'll write that since sine ninety plus theta is equal to cos theta, and sine one eighty plus theta is equal to sine theta. This is ninety. Now. therefore i will be using the first and second parts of the equation to get theta since w and p are known i will shift sign on one side so i will be having sin theta upon cos theta is equal to p upon w p upon w next sin theta upon cos theta will give me tan theta is equal to capital p is 200 w is 500 So therefore, I will be getting theta as tan inverse of two by five, and if I calculate this value, my answer will be twenty one point eight degree. My answer number one. After getting theta, 
now i will i will be putting the value of theta in this lamis theorem result which we have got to calculate t so after this i'll say that therefore from lamis theorem t is equal to p multiplied by sin 90 you can take anything that is either you can take p or w because both the values are known sin 90 degree divided by sin theta and what is theta 21.8 degree so therefore i'll say that p value was given in the question p is 200 into sin 90 upon sin 21.8 degree so if i calculate all terms here my answer of t comes out to be 538.55 newton my second answer so if we look into this question there were two things asked first of all inclination of this rope with vertical this inclination we had calculated it is 21.8 degree it is done second question was tension in the string and the tension value we have got it as 538.55 newton and with this we have completed the second question